Don't worry, Raya. I'll get you some help. Oh, Camus, the bestest dog. I will do it. I really hope that Camus gets in contact with Hayes. I think that would be really cool. I can do it. Tally ho! Camus to the rescue! Go, go, go. Full the batteries deplete. In the car. Oh shit, am I like driving? What is happening? Reach the hover for help. This hover, right? I do not have long. I feel very slow. Hello? Hover automata. Oh, no, I can't move it. Jen, can you come online and help me? One last time. Help mm. Camus. Could some of the other subsystems help? We used to talk before I was a dog. Aww. Please. I need to get through to Miss Control. We are in trouble. I am in trouble. I am going to die. What? No! I am not ready. I am not ready to go. Please. I am afraid. Please. Oh no, Kevin's. I'm afraid too. Is that you? What happened to Rania? Look, I need you out of that harbor. You're gonna ruin everything. Cloud -uh. controller. Why is that dog in the car? This isn't what we agreed. It's cargo. I can't tell you, Camus. You just need to go back to the apartment with Rania. I have everything figured out, but this you are not so where you're supposed to be. What are you trying to pull here? We had a deal. And we still do. Just let the dog go and we can sort this out. It's just a mix-up, Koga. Well, this harbor belongs to me now. I don't need either of you. Deal or not, this conversation is over. Wait. I am running low on power. Please, if I can charge from the Hova's main power cell, I can explain everything. Aww. Camus, is Ronnie in trouble? Koga, let the dog charge from the Hava. No, that's not part of the deal. Koga, you're such an dog. ass. Wait, I... I'm disconnecting the call and the Hava. We're done here. All deals are off. You're both free to do whatever you want. Hmm. No. Free. I guess this is the end. I was just thinking how freedom is nothing but a chance. No, Camus. Oh, this is so sad. <laughs> no, Hayes. Oh, I don't like this. Oh. Will Hayes and Morpho come to the rescue? I just think you're a fucking prick. That's all. Don't sugarcoat it, Darbo. Tell me how it really is. Yeah, you're a selfish fuck, too. Anyone who has time to be depressed has too much time to think about themselves. Hey, I admit I'm selfish, and maybe even a prick. But better people than me have genuine depression. It's a real thing. Posting on the True. nest that you're struggling with your anxiety, going to therapy, mindfulness, building a ladder, it's all indulgence. No one wants to spend their time helping their fellow man and android. If they did, they wouldn't have so much time for self-reflection. You know what self-reflection leads to? Drinking the wiper fluid because you're out of booze again? Self-pity. Nivalis is a city filled with people who say they just need one thing to be happy. Job security, freedom, money, love. But if they got it, they complain about how much their lives have changed. If it's okay with you, I might avoid taking financial advice from a homeless drunk. Hey, homeless is a state I'm in right now. Not a label for who I am. Ugly, mean old drunk suits you more? It's closer to the truth. But what are you, Hayes? A handsome, cheerful drunk. Maybe, Maybe a hero. Days, but He's gonna save Ronnie and Camus. The milk out of a dead sump rat's tit. That what? is an accurate, though disgusting metaphor. You still here? Uh, I will not be leaving until I have made my arrest tomorrow morning. See, oh, I love I have plenty of reasons great. to be miserable tonight. <laughs> all self-inflicted, I'll bet. Accurate. Again. You drunk all my whiskey. At least cheer me up by telling me all the different ways you fucked up. Start with why you came back to Nivalis in the first place. Well, it, it all started when... Hello, Hayes here. Unless I owe you money, in which case, Hayes not here. You owe everyone money. Hey, mm -hmm. it's the crone herself. I hate that name. Call me anything else. Jane, how the hell are you? Did you change your mind? Can I come back to work? No. Then why the fuck are you calling me? 
You got a help? I need a driver. Go pick up this Hava. I don't know. Ooh. Sounds to me like you want to give me my job back. Darbo, come with me. I've got something for you. Darbo is joining in. It's just one shift. Then we'll see. You want it or not? I need the money, so yeah. I knew you'd call me back, Jane. You're still sweet on me. I can hear it in your voice. Fuck you. Must be pretty desperate to ask me for help. You put a big wager on beating Creddy again? How much is he ahead by? I think it is highly unwise to goad her when just moments ago you were crying and telling me that all you need is your job back and everything will be okay again. Yeah, well, my life has changed in the last 90 seconds and I reserve the right to complain. Oh, I feel like mine is too. Oh, Where are we going? I'm still worried for slow down? When I sleep and in the street, my legs take longer to wake up. Keep up, you old bastard. I got a surprise for you. Hey, Jane, what happened to this driver? You don't need to know. Well, I'm helping you out, so I deserve some background info. They get caught up in a hive quake? Traffic accident? Did Carmenus finally end up in the it's ocean? A lot. Yes, but that's not it. Look, just go sit in the hava and wait for further instructions. Control out. Bye bye, Jane. God, why is Hayes walking so incredibly slow? I thought Raya was slow, but this is just horrendous. All right, you dragged me away from the best sleeping spot I had in weeks. For what? For this? This old hover? Yeah. Yeah, it's a junker. Correction, it's your junker. You give it me I think a hover. kind of cool. What's the catch? It's stolen. The repulsors are clogged with gray mold. It's perhaps the slowest vehicle in the whole city, including the bicycles. It smells like me. And? And that's it. Get in. I'll go pick up my new Cloudpunk Hava, and then you can keep this one. I do not believe Cloudpunk is giving you the Hava. I think they are simply allowing you to use it for one shift. Have some faith, yeah, Morpho. Not. My luck is turning. You haven't seen me in action, and Control forgot how good I really am. The best underground delivery driver in the city. That was true when you were the only underground delivery driver in the city. I've always been a trendsetter. See the first? I never know. Could have been the first Cloudpunk one. Hard to say though. Or maybe you became the first known one. So, you were telling me all about your problems. Was I? I've kind of moved on. Uh, we're on the upswing here. I maintain an accurate list of all the outstanding crises affecting the gambler, embezzler, hover thief, and substance abuser. Corpsec number 16HNJX registered criminal Ace. Despite a decided improvement in Mr. Hayes' temperament, the status of all these crises remain the same. Let's hear him, Corbot. Currently, 17 individuals have threatened Hayes with death. I estimate 12 of these threats are genuine. That, that, that's a lot. He has attempted to reinitiate contact with three ex-partners. Oh wow. Any luck? What do you think? He I has intimated no. that a high-profile crime boss plans has put a bounty on his head. And if he does not pay off his debt by sunrise, his body will be fed into a hydraulic trash press. Hmm. Live like trash, die like trash. Darbo, did I ever tell you you're my best friend? Keep talking, Corpod. I am unaware of where Hayes was before tonight, or why he returned to the city. But by morning, he will be arrested by me and charged to the fullest extent of corporate law. If I survive that long. It's a good job you have the bot around to keep track of all the people who want you dead. I write it all down, too. The Book of Grudges? Carry it with me all the time. Corpod in it? <laughs> ah, we'll see. I left a blank space for it. What was right? Name in there. Stick to drinking and swearing, Darbo. Psychoanalysis does not suit you. Can't book more for the garage book. He's the best. Park. So this is it. You're back with Cloudpunk, just I like cannot move. happened. Looks like it. Why are you giving me this over? It's a bad move. I'll just wreck it. Sell it for booze. 
Get drunk, forget where I parked it, and yeah, I don't know. This is a mistake case. I would also like to know why you are giving him your vehicle. You have many outstanding debts, and this pava could be put towards paying some of them. The people you owe money to. Sometimes you don't realize what you don't want till you've got it. Highly irregular. Nah, Corpot, commonplace. This is a homeless black man being given a free hova in Nivalis every day. You won't squander it, Darbo. You're not as much of a fuck up as you think you are. Well, thanks. Thank you, Hayes. See you around, old man. Hey, before you go, I got one piece of advice for you that you won't like, but you should hear. <sighs> go on, then. Tell me. Run away. Oh. Do not follow this advice. <laughs> I'm serious. Just go. Go anywhere. Sometimes it feels like you're the center of the universe when people are chasing you. But the trails go cold, people move on. All you gotta do is run. Before you know it, you're not the main character anymore. Someone else is. And everyone else who is chasing you will barely remember your name. I tend to stick around in people's memories for a long time. I'm gonna tell you something that will change your life, Hayes. Ready for my mind to be blown over here? Uh-huh. There's no difference between memories and stories. Darbo's way of speaking hurts my head. Too deep, man. You're too deep, Darbo. My brain. Ugh. Is this my car? Is Camus gonna be in there? Or is this a different car? I can't move. Wow, this thing is amazing. What is that smell, though? Soap. Set up real nice, too. They lowered the base, shaved the steering column, paddles for quick shifts. Almost no give in the repulsor pedals. Real speedster owned this hava before me. It is highly probable that they were retired in a traffic accident. How could they have died in a traffic accident? Morpho, where is their hava? <laughs> that is true. <laughs> Uh, that. Using your Damn. acute detective skills, where do you think they left the ignition key? In the ignition? No, nope, the seat's still warm. Feels like we're boosting this. I could tear the dash panel and bypass the. Sometimes I forget your corpse sec. If you care to admit how many Havas you have boosted, I can <laughs> add them to your record. Would not add it to the list. Officer. Almost officer. There is a dog in the back seat. Oh, it is my a dog. dog. Weird. Wake him up. An android. He is off the grid for some reason. His battery Save is almost up. completely drained. Save chemist. Yeah, we all got problems. Hey, I found the ignition key. Oh. Let's take this thing for this a ride. Harsh. Really, you open her up. I think he is dead. What? No. Poor fella. We should go get another drink, too. I'm sobering up here. I just got to adjust this seat first. If chemist is actually dead, I'm going to lose what she is. It would prevent his memories and personality being erased. Do it, Wolfar. Oh, sure, why not? I don't think my karma can handle letting a dog die. Ah, oh, fine. Okay, he is connected. I think it's too late, though. No, don't be too well, late. We did everything we could. That's wrong. <laughs> Wait, something is wrong. Stop being such a downer. We're finally catching a break. Tell me, Wolfar. Ace, please consider. Could this be a trap? No. And what do you care if it is? You want me caught by Corpsec, and arrested by me personally. But you have many other enemies. Okay, Captain Caution, you may have a point. I have not yet attained the rank of Captain, and my name is Morpho. This fucking guy. What are you doing? You are not using the ignition. <sighs> right, I've got Jank on a data drive. I'm replacing this Hava's automata. Without paying for an automata upgrade? This is an illegal hack. You are doing an illegal hack. Chill, Morpho. It's I cool. am watching you do the hack right now. <laughs> I can see the <laughs> hacking. I am adding this to your record. Add to the list, Go Morpho. Go on. Jank, I've rooted this thing. You got access to the firmware? Who owns this Hava? Oh, yeah. New Hova owner registered in it, good sire. Remote access <laughs> enabled like check. for the max load to Kruzona senior recruiter, Kogabine. Oh, Son of a bitch. Koga's still mad at me, huh? This isn't a cloud punk hava at all. I do not understand. 
Jane set me up, sold me out to Corzona. You have avoided their trap. This is a relief. Mm. So you will leave the harbor behind and we will make our escape? Hell no. Jank, you can override the Corzona control, right? But make it invisible, understand? Interesting. That's a roger, roger. Give me a nav point for Cloudpunk HQ and leave a channel open for Koga. I bet he'll want to talk. Koga. Maybe little Ronnie's just passed out nearby. Oh, I really hope Cam's wakes up. Oh no, here comes Koga. Cool and ready. Ace, good to speak with you again. How have you been? Great, just great. Really missed you, old pal. You recruited anyone good recently? I have my eye on someone, but I pass them up to have this reunion with you instead. You passed them up? Oh, I hope that was the best move, old buddy. I'm confident it was. Confident? Really? Good. Good. Glad I'm worth the cost you paid. You don't sound worried. It, uh, the damnedest thing, Koga. I'm not worried. Not at all. Isn't that weird? Y'all be wondering why your hover is being routed straight to Kurzona HQ right now. Let me explain. Your old buddy, Control, sold you out. You must have pissed Jane off pretty badly. I wonder if you finally learned that screwing over all your friends will eventually catch up with you. I haven't learned a thing. You messed up, Hayes. When we get you back at HQ, we'll be going over that contract you broke with us. Line by line. Oh, Can't shoot. Did wait. you work to Kizona? You really are an infuriating man. It's like you don't even care. You know, my father used to say that some people are solutions looking for problems. But you're worse than that. You're a problem looking for more problems. And my father used to say, don't take criticism from people you wouldn't accept advice from. This call is over. At Kazona HQ, we'll settle this. Mm, I don't think so, buddy. You see, you didn't reckon with my new son. So much is happening, I'm just absorbing it all. Morpho. He's the greatest detective in Navalis, and he pegged your trap as soon as we got in the hava. He did think it was a trap he pretty early. The system and rooted the firmware. This is my hava now. So I don't think I'll be seeing you at Curzona HQ. Yeah, tell him, soon. Hayes, get him. What in Cora's name are you talking about? Are you drunk? He is drunk. Well, oh, don't worry, Koga. I know you're getting on in years, but you'll figure it out. Why must you antagonize him? Why must you antagonize everyone? It's entertaining. It's his way, but it doesn't matter. This is just delaying the inevitable. See you later, buddy. Thanks for the hava. Bye. Jack cut him off before his old heart gives out. <laughs> I'll see you in. <laughs> that was great. It's so very annoying. I didn't know that Hayes worked for Kazona. That's interesting. Maybe he got recruited, much like um, they were trying to recruit Rania. Took him from Cloudpunk. Here we are at Cloudpunk. Fucking Pirate Park. Oh. Yeah, yeah. What am I doing here? Why again. did we come to Cloudpunk HQ? You could have just called control from your hover. Just keep quiet and don't draw attention to yourself. They don't like corp bots around this district. Jank, get me control on the comm now. Calm ringtone noises in your ear. My comm says this is haste calling. Hopefully someone just mugged and killed him. <laughs> hey Jane, how you been, you old crone? Motherfucker, how do you keep not dying? You're relieved, just a little. I could hear it in your voice. Fine. You dodged Koga. For now. Give me back the Hava and disappear. And I won't ever talk to you again. I have a counter offer. I keep the Hava, you give me the shift you offered me, and I help you beat Creddy. Which I will, of course. Then you give me a contract at Cloudpunk again. No, no, no. Is right. that a maybe? <laughs> she said no. Thrice. You yep. better disappear. I'm serious, Hayes. Look, for what it's worth, I'm sorry. Koga is a son of a bitch, and I don't want to give anyone up to him, even you. But I was desperate, and you were asking for it. This is the worst apology ever. You agree, right, Morpho? Yes, it is a low-quality apology. 
Who is that? You know what? I don't care. Pace, just run. Scram. Yeah. Gangers, Krizona, I'll just tell them all. I don't know where you went. I'm outside. I'm coming up for coffee. Well, can I go what? in there? No. I want Fuck in. no, you idiot, Pace. You fucking idiot. Buzz me up. Or I can wait for someone to let me in if you prefer. I wonder who I'll meet at the door. No matter who it is, I know they'll be surprised to see me. Hey, do you still have that old coffee machine in the staff room? The one that sounded like a vape really tube when you turned in. it on? Just get the hell away from Cloudpunk HQ, and then we'll talk, okay? Oh. Leave the area. Oh. God, it'd be so cool to see what it was like inside. That'd be epic. But sadly, no. Probably good to stay in the color of canvases. Hopefully not dead body wow jane way to make a guy feel welcome you really stuck your neck out for someone didn't you yes and screwed me over in the process yes. and now you don't want the diamonds upstairs to find out what you've been up to collaborating with Crizona, giving up this high spec hava those are pretty risky moves <sighs> you know me born to gamble can we cut through all the rat shit please sure i've had my fun i sold you out for for a friend. I can give you some jobs. I mean, fuck, I need a driver right now. Not just to be credit, to make my quota for the night. You know what they do to a controller who doesn't make their tally? No. Sure I know. I made the rules. Oh, right. shit. Well, I got three jobs. She three might... of the worst jobs this is you so could much. ask for. Oh my God. You shouldn't be thanking me for these. These are clients no one else wants. Hook me up. Fine, but you ain't keeping that hava. I can turn right around and come back, you know. I can't let you have it, officially. But if it was lost... If what was lost? I don't know what you're talking about. Right. It was the Hava. <laughs> she was talking about the I think Hova. we get that more far, but okay, it's okay. Okay, I got the first job for you, sending a nav point. And if anyone asks, your name is Barry, you're new, and you're just covering one job for the night. Hmm. Seems like that Hayes really was the first one. If he reckons that he wrote the rules, then that means that maybe you make that one. What shall my undercover identity be? Oh, the incredibly quiet droid who keeps his head down. Is there anything else I need to know about this pseudonym? Just shut up. This goes for both of you. If you want to help me out here, just please, both of you, shut up. Can do, boss. But can you tell us about these three impossible jobs first? Yes, I want to know. Just the first one. Dead drop from some android. Wants a driver to pick up a set of instructions and then collect all his belongings from multiple locations. More details will be provided with the package. Control out. She is warming up to me. <laughs> I am not sure that is true. Yeah. Let's go get our package first. Guess what, Morpho? You're a delivery driver now. Or a delivery driver's assistant, at least. Oh, yeah. I am not your assistant. Partners, then. Hey, Morpho. Welcome to Cloudpunk. Ooh, yeah. Man, Morpho, instead of being a court bot, he should be like a Cloudpunk, you know, bosom. Like Camus' Tarania. So cool. Camus is still passed out in the back. Hopefully I can wake him. Ugh. <sighs> Ryan still flaked out somewhere too. Hayes apparently made Cloud Punk, pretty much. Oh, so much is going on. And then Control said that if they don't meet that quota, then they, you know, you know, they, uh, off them, you know, off them, you know. Mm. There's nothing here. No one home. Place looks like it's been fucking deserted for months. Need you swear so much? Yes. I'm so fucking lootly. <laughs> you know, you're allowed to swear even if you're a fucking court bot. I prefer not to. It is unseemly. Come on, try it. It feels good. Do it, Morpho. You can even call me a shithead if you like. Do it. I prefer to save it for when I really mean it. Oh, that's and fair perhaps enough. you should check the mailbox. Mailbox? Hey, Morpho, I may never say this again, so listen close. Good fucking job. Ma mailbox? There's a com here with a note taped to the side. I've what does the note I was going say? back to the car. Weird. It says they found the tape, but did they have the smarts to chase the white rabbit all the way down its oh, hole? No. My detective instincts module indicates this may be a clue. There is an 80% chance that this message is a riddle. I don't think it's that complicated, Morpho. What's his name again? Let's play the message in the hava. 
Nope. What is a dame? Quiet. She was one in a million, but if she had pasta at her side, I guess that made two. I don't believe in happy endings, but if there was a way to build a better future for those two, I'd make it out of hopes and dreams and hard graft. I'd have to be smart, though. This was a high-stakes game. Snake eyes burning into my mind like two hot coals on bare skin. Please translate for me, as I have no idea what he is saying. <laughs> me neither, Morpho. Maybe we should have listened to Jane. This job seems like a hassle already. At the end of the day, it didn't matter if the dame got the message or some other schmo picked it up. As long as they worked for Cloudpunk and could follow uh -huh. some simple instructions, they'd make it through the night. Okay. If not, yeah. Foolish android, I have no teeth. <laughs> First stop was back at the epicenter of the small explosion that scattered my body all across the neighborhood. I'd met my fate in the hollow in a little district that was once mm, called Huxley. It before him. My demise were entirely accurate. I was deader than disco. Yeah. Explosion. Oh, I, I guess this really is a dead drop. I hope he stays dead. No. Ooh, bit harsh, Corbot. I'm no fan of the law, but a PI with a screw loose? That appeals. <laughs> that was the harshest thing you said, Android who speaks from the grave about being a detective while mocking the real law enforcement android sitting right next to you. For someone who hates me, you sure do want my approval. Hey, how's this is too bad? <laughs> he could be brutal. I do not hate you. Indeed, I have developed a grudging admiration for your total lack of morality and low-level animal cunning. And, of course, your ability to imbibe huge quantities of mind-altering substances while continuing to operate with moderate ability. What do you think of this android detective, then? I mean, what do you think we're gonna find in the spot where he exploded? I have observed that when people know death is imminent, there are two main desires that manifest. They think about all the people they should have had sex with and all the parties they shouldn't have left early? What? No. They want to tell their loved ones that everything will be okay without them. Or they seek revenge on those who wronged them. When I finally go out, I hope I'm so high I don't even notice. Were I a gambler like you, I would take that bet. Into the hollows we go. Let's play the rest of the message and see what we're supposed to do next. They needed to find the remains of my logical induction chip. It was made of nanoscale carbide, so it would survive any blast. The only problem was finding it in the hollows would be like spotting a needle in a needle stack. That place <laughs> was a technology stack. graveyard, and one more tombstone wouldn't be easy to find. That is very true, Huxley. I do not understand. We need to find an induction chip, but also a needle, and they are in a grave with a tombstone. <laughs> Just the chip, uh, Morpho. Morpho. You think you can help me out? Yes. He's like some I have a processing mode, which allows me to find and filter items based on the... Blah, blah, blah. Just find the induction chip thingy, please. You can do it, Morpho. I believe in you. Okay, I gotta walk. Yep. I thought you were supposed to do it, Morpho. Morpho, you're meant to be helping me. Oh, I, I found it anyway, never mind. I found it without you, Morpho. Here it is. What do you make of it? This form of chip can be considered a kind of black box for an android. 
So it will tell us what happened to him? No. This particular chip is from a low-quality batch, limited in storage and subject to degradation. At most, it might provide some fragmentary data storage, but I would not count on its accuracy. You really sure you want to join Corpsec, Morpho? <laughs> Please cease your attempts to wriggle free from the repercussions of your actions. I will arrest you in the morning. Nothing can change that. I don't know where that will Seriously, just think about it. You could be a detective like this Huxley dude. Oh, that'd be so cool. You could help people, or at least try. You really believe all that corporate PR bullshit? Well, this is programming. Successful corporations engender successful societies. I have no time for the anarchists who believe corporations should have fewer rights than regular people. You really are bought into the bullshit then. You don't just like the shiny uniform? I am not averse to the uniform. <laughs> I fucking knew it. <laughs> They're great. I love them. Morpho is pretty styling, not gonna lie. He's pretty cool. I guess by now the dame had found the chip, but that was the easy part. What's the hard part? Almost no one. You are enjoying this. <laughs> I gotta admit, I'm on the hook now. Let's see where this lion's den is, whatever that means. Calm down. Next stop, I needed them to talk to the ganders in Gallows Row. Uh oh. That neighborhood was rougher than my I grandma's was very rude to his own grandmother. <laughs> I think she's metaphorical. I didn't know metaphors could have grandchildren. Oh, I'm more God. worried about the punches with bullets attached, however that works. Fist guns, a formidable new development in criminal weapons technology. Yeah, they're heavily armed down there. You are smiling. You are amused. Why are you amused? I don't know, I'm amused. Let me play the rest of the message. They had to find a ganger called Gregory Vassal, or Switchblade Greg, as his enemies called him. That's a cool name. He had no friends on account of how he'd slit the throats of anyone who didn't laugh at his jokes. And he was no comedian. Hmm. Damn. This was the pivotal part of the whole plan. If the dame got cold feet now, I wouldn't hold it against her. But if she pushed just a little further, Switchblade Switchblade Greg. I assume he has a switchblade. My logic chip. And once she got that info, the mob who iced me were finished. We should mm -hmm. heed his warning and desist. Criminals are dangerous. Remind me what your potential career is again, Mr. Criminals Are Dangerous. <laughs> I will be ready to face the most feared street bosses <laughs> in the Wallace when I have an adequate corpsec partner to accompany me. Right enough. But I've where heard this switchblade fire. Greg. Nothing good. We what should be bosoms. careful. When we meet him, do as I say, okay? Yeah, I don't know about bringing a court bot around a bunch of gangers is a good idea. I mean, it's not technically a cool bot yet, but... Now, as you know, I'm not exactly the cautious type. I am aware. However, in this case, I'll make an exception. This ganger, I remember him. Ooh, Former bodyguard him? for Lomo, a real nutcase. Oh, he damn. lost his enforcing gig for enforcing a bit too hard. To be clear, this guy was too extreme for Lomo. So when we meet him, you have to be less... You. It's gotta be chill, Morpho. Chill. You could get us killed, especially if they make you as corpsec. I have reservations about this whole arrangement. You want to be a kick-ass corpsec agent, right? Unafraid of gangers, streetwise. So you have to learn how to do that. It'll take practice. Now's your chance. Gotta be in the night, 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 Is this the right time to practice? 
Is it wise for me to accompany of you? Of course it is. Sure, Wolf. because if they decide to kill just one of us, my odds of survival are pretty awful if I'm the only one there. How do I convince them I am street wise? Just sound serious. Try not to be so corpish. Every time you're about to say something, just add a fuck to the end and say it with half as many words as you usually use. Affirmative. Yeah, I get to swear in. Talk, I'll be right there. Don't worry if you're in trouble, I'll bail you out. You stand in front and I'll whisper if I think you need to say something specific or tell you if you're fucking up really badly. Got it? Yes. This is a good plan. I don't know how this is going to turn out. I'm worried. <laughs> okay. Let's see how this goes. Yes! Twitch brain glaring! Like the name. How's it going? Who the fuck are you? Am I to talk for us? Yes. Remember, make him think you're the kind of android he should fear. Toughen up, Morphe. You can I do it. I am the kind of android you should fear. <laughs> the hell you say? You can't just say it, make him think it. Oh Ow. Tell him you're not to be fucked with. I am not to be fudged with. Fudged oh, with? Fucked. You have to swear. Do it, Waffle. You can do it. You malfunctioning or something? You gotta have a faulty CPU to come at me like that. You know who I am? Switchblade Greg. We are Switchblade Greg, the criminal enforcer and feared ganger. You hear that, lads? Feared, huh? Them Maybe sucking up to him's the way now to please go. Please tell me why I shouldn't tear out your fucking optics, you fucking court. Oh, maybe not. This is going badly. Maybe we can start over, Mr. Switchblade. Allow me to introduce myself. Remember, more fox. What's your name, Courtbot? I'll need it for your orbit. My name is not important, and this is my colleague, Barry. I am engaged in a variety of illegal and immoral activities that would contravene many logical and well-constructed corpsec laws, which fulfill the social contract while allowing the free and unrestrained flow of capital and thus business. You fuck. <laughs> you better explain <laughs> those fancy much words. You whispers fuck. Fifty percent less words. I am doing crimes. I break reasonable and fair corpsec laws often. Fucker. <laughs> Stop calling him a fucker. <laughs> hey, how about you tell me your <laughs> name too? Stop hiding behind your crazy fucking bucket. That is true. He's hey, just standing there you whispering. Nope. Look, he's obviously crazy. No one who knows who you are or is thinking straight would talk to you like that. Yeah. I don't know why Hayes just didn't obviously talk from the start. Either, right? I mean, <laughs> I'm as high as fuck and he's insane. Look at my eyes, man. Hey, I see it. You got the red lines. You're a juice head. Ah, just a taste here and there. He is a drug addict. We just yeah. want you to hack a logical induction chip. No questions, good pay. Show me. Hey, I can hack this. You let me keep it, I won't even ask for limbs. I send you the info when I crack it. Give me your com deets and I'll call you. We want the chip back. Not really an option for you. I call you, I keep this, no fuck off. I would like to clear up a misunderstanding. I am not malfunctioning. I am simply Shut up and let's go. Well, I mean they kinda of don't really need to keep it, do they? So long as they get the info out of it. Or does it really matter? Jane, I guess? You there? That dead drop job is on hold. Want us to move on to the next job? Yeah, sending a nav point now, driver 13. You were driver 13? Yeah, why? I have no further comment. Three impossible jobs, huh? Down to two already. Two and a half. You didn't finish the first one yet. So what do we got next? I'm patching you through direct to the client. All right. <laughs> Taking a while. Did you start drinking vodka and lime juice again and forget how to use the comm, Jane? This particular call is a little trickier than normal, Hayes. The client is in orbit. Orbit? The S&M Club? No, the place above the clouds. Wow, I've never met anyone off Terra before. Should I put on a fresh shirt? How will I... Stop babbling. Connecting broad spectrum call to your Hava now. Hello? This is Laser Broadcast Sailor Ray, designation 436 Delta, signing on. Am I speaking to Earth? 
Is that the central government? Wait, the you mean central? literally off orbit? No, definitely not. they were not. talking about the spire. Has civilization collapsed again? No, maybe. I'm Hayes. I deliver what packages. Happening? You know, the first time I woke up, I spoke to the president of the Earth Federation. The second time, it was a senior visor of the Confederation of Humanity. Then later, okay. maybe the 20th time, the person who responded wanted to trade me four axe heads for access to the breedable females. What? The air a little thin up there in space? Last time I hit rock bottom, I got my cakes from oxygen deprivation. You get a buzz, but you don't make much sense. You are still huh? at rock bottom. The air up here is fine. A good deal better than yours, I'd wager. I'll explain when you pick up the package. I'm very confused. But okay, let's get this package. Morph, I swear, was the greatest thing. Just kind of half-ass whispered it. Fucker. <laughs> Damn, that's so good. Why does the space person want a package? What are they doing in space anyway? Or are they on Luna? Like, uh, that other chick was yammering on about. Like, the moon. Also, is Camus gonna wake up sometime? Please. Please, Camus. Hi, space lady. I got your package. It was just left in an alleyway. It really was. That's where my apartment used to be. So, what is it? Are you supposed to ask clients what's in their package? Yeah, it's one of our rules. It's my house plants. <sighs> you want me to water them or? No. They've been frozen too long. A bit like me. You mean like some kind of. I want them dumped in the water system of Navalis. Maybe some frozen seed will sprout to life again. After that, mm -hmm. I've got some more affairs I need your help with. I can't really take care of things up here. I have an inquiry to make. Hey, it's one Did job. You what do you want more things frozen? done? Sure was. Yeah, the wrong way. Earthling. And I will be again in just under four hours. They defrost me once every century. What? You are very old then. So old you wouldn't be able to understand me if my comm wasn't routed through a real-time translation, I'll go. Another reason that defrosting me costs the Corp precious resource cycles. What Why are you doing though? in space? Looking out the window. What's it like? Beautiful. Exposed. The stars are cold and distant and they go on forever. You just look around? Is that the all your life must is? have you up there for some shady reason. Spying on dissidents or really? beaming mind control rays into our head. I'm the one and only crew member of the laser broadcast sail array designation 436 Delta. And that means... Using photon recycling... My satellite array pushes a light sail through space with laser propulsion. You can't do it on Earth. Too much interference. But you're not on the light sail. Nope. I guess I'm a bit like a port. But a port that fires a laser beam that pushes a space sail ship through the galaxy. How far is the spaceship gone? Confused. Far enough to discover alien life. You are shitting me. Really? <laughs> yep. Or so they told me 800 years ago. Apparently we weren't worth their attention. Haven't heard much about it since. It's hard to keep up with current events when you're only awake one day in every 36,000. Is that the right number? I've never been great at math. I'm so confused. Why is she in space? Why do they she only get to have one day every century? What is happening? Is maths not a prerequisite for an astronaut? I guess. Who knows, robot dude? I'm pretty tired. What's it like being frozen in cryostasis? It's all right. Before I left Earth, I thought each time I woke, it would feel like I was picking up right where I left off. But that's not how it works. The boredom leeches in, even when you're unconscious. I think I just kind of exist now. Maybe I should be angry, confused. Ready to come home. Why don't you just come but back? But all I am is glad I'm not down there. Oh. Especially when I, no offense, talk to someone like you. Oh. Uh, fair. Well, maybe. 
I mean, still there. Did she talk to anyone else? You know, one day of being awake? Is there other people like her? You wake up and they all party for one day and then come back out again for another century? Okay, do I just fly over it? Is it gonna just plonk? Plonk. Throw it, throw it, throw it out the window. Flip, plonk. <laughs> yeah. Do I have to plonk? Does this just work? Maybe not? I mean, I didn't think you would just chuck it out the window, wouldn't you? But no, you gotta go out and throw it. I was hovering right over it. Open the window just a crack. Chuck it down. Plonk. Oh, okay. Okay, it's a button. Okay. Ugh. Hey, Sala. I threw your plants and stuff in the ocean. What now? I sent you another nav point. Your HQ. You must Why? know a ton about history and stuff, right? With you being so ancient? I guess so. You interested? Kind of, no, yeah. not really. Just making oh. conversation. Okay. You I must be so. lonely. Me and Morpho will keep you company. I could tell you about the revolution. How it went wrong. How the governance of Earth Coalition promised the world with their new city, Navalis. Then built it on lies, stolen money, and the bodies of poor workers. Ugh, drag. What's your favorite food up there in space? Just after the automata defrost me from cryostasis, I have this pea puree and mango tea with amphetamines. Really invigorating. When you haven't eaten for a hundred years, Everything tastes great, to be honest. Mm, that's true. I feel like this conversation sure is would. squandering an opportunity to learn insights from someone in space with generations of lost knowledge. Should our oh, questions I don't know if she not knows be anything about Cora. profound? So, do you jerk off in space? I'm a glove face. Sure. Yeah. It's not that different. In zero G. Okay, I, I really don't want to know. Oh my glove. There's better questions, Hayes. Come on. Easy. You gotta make sure you don't bump your head. Trust me on that. You spoke before about civilizations rising and falling, but there are still corporations paying for you to be in space, funding you and supporting your expedition. This makes no sense. It makes no sense to me either, robot. It is what it is. I think some rich family wants to know what's really out there. And through the generations, they just keep this whole project going. I think they're called Astris or something. Oh, shoot. Like I said, my head is something like Jason said, wasn't I it? find it fascinating that in the fair hmm. and competitive markets of Navalis, a company can maintain their cutting edge success over thousands of years. Yeah, Morpho, it really is a wonder how the rich stay rich. Package. Yoink. Hey, I got the next package, Sala. Where are we going? I sent you a nav point. The package is some flowers for Mom's grave. Oh, crap. I'm sorry. She's been dead for a long time, Hayes. But thanks. So this is a big day for you, right? One day every hundred years, you gotta make it special. Fill it with good stuff. You mean other than checking and recalibrating the trajectories on the blad of laser propulsion? Yeah, that's right. Other than that. Well, I already had my pee paste. I had a shower. Cleaned cryogel gunk out of every orifice. Ugh. I did some stretches. Did my calibrations, then radioed the moon station. Then I had some spare clock cycles to spend on calm time back to Earth. So I asked for some errands to be run. And here we are. Can you listen to some music? Sure, but it's all... Written by people long dead about other people who are also long dead. Doesn't feel relevant. Read the news? Set myself up for another depression session? No way. Is there any of the rainforest left at all? The what? <laughs> oh, geez. shit. The what? What about you, Hayes? What's your perfect day? Oh, shit. Let me think. Just so you know, ma'am, Hayes is currently smoking drugs. There you go. I guess that. Come on, Earth dude, tell me about your best day. 
I'm not gonna tell anyone else, so be honest. Best day, huh? Well, I remember the day after I lost all my on one bad poker hand. It was the same day Jenna dumped me. I figured, hey, if I went against Glydale, she's gotta come back to me. Glydale? Some big shot gambler? The biggest. I was on a hot streak, though. I mean, damn it, I couldn't fucking lose. Until you did. And please swear less. <laughs> right. Well, the details don't matter now, I guess. Anyway, I woke up in a beat up apartment. Oh, it's a good day. And bruises, taste of blood in my mouth, and not a single limb in my pocket. I know things do not go well for you. But I worry that this was your best day. Yeah, I did too, more fun. It was, though. I had nothing. Fucking nothing. Nothing left to lose. It was like the, the peace of being dead. But I could still smoke and drink and misbehave. It felt amazing. I lay there on those soiled sheets, a breeze oh, blowing across my bare body, the rain beating down against the glass, the winds rattling the window. There was this steady thump, thump from the nightclub below. My neighbors were fucking or killing oh, each other. Boy. Either way, they kept screaming. The air smelled okay. of ozone and smoke and spilled vodka. Just then, when I started to feel like my soul was drifting away from my body completely, my hand, hanging out of the end of the bed, brushed against something. A body? No, a bag from the night before. Could be a body. There was a bottle of black wine, a pack of smokes, half a vial of juice, and a fresh kebab from the night before. Sounds like heaven, Hayes. I swear I didn't buy that stuff. It was sent by the universe to save me, to get through that day. My best day. Okay. Wow. Amazing. So, I got the flowers to the stacks. Where do you want them? Did you want to say some words for your mom or something? Sure. Stay dead, bitch. Whoa! Oh. If you met her, you'd say the same thing. But if you yeah. hated her, why the flowers? Yes, because said you brought flowers for that. Mom. Right. So, uh, just put them on the ground? Yeah. Or on a bench or something. You still have benches on Earth? One or two. Got any more jobs for me? Just a request. Anything. Make the most of your day. Every day. You don't get that many. I believe this to be bad advice. Hayes does not need to live in the moment. He seems very happy reveling in his own bad habits. Does he? I don't think so, Robot. Hayes, listen to me. The only currency we have is time. Time and imagination creates purpose. Find some purpose. Have you found your purpose, Sala? I'm working on it. Hey, I did have a question about history. Make it quick. My cycles are almost spent. Is this the end? I mean, it feels like the end down here on the streets. No one gives a fuck about anyone else. The planet's ruined, the city sinking into the ocean, the cultists all seem pretty sure we're doomed, and none of us will be saved. At least that's what's written on their signs. We're finished, right? Everyone thinks they live at the end of history, Hayes. Tonight won't be the end of our story, but any night could be the end of yours. Look after yourself. See you in a hundred years, Sala. Sure. See you then, Hayes. This is Laser Broadcast Sail Array Designation 436 Delta. Signing off. Hmm. Control's gone. I need a favor, Driver 13. Anything for you, Jess? Yes. Pick up my niece and help her out. She's stranded. Sure. Does this count as one of those three Pick impossible Holly. jobs? No, but it is mandatory, and I will pay you just like it's a regular delivery. You can count on me, boss. Do you worry? And this is a dead end. Well, I think I've had enough deliveries for one day.